everyone and welcome back. Today we are giving you a glimpse of the most shocking things that hotel staff won't tell you. Before that, don't forget to click on that subscribe button for more interesting videos from our channel. We know that you are more than curious, so we would not take you any more time. Your value. You finally managed to get some free time and to go to your dream destination. You can't wait to arrive at your hotel and enjoy all the things on that highly deserved vacation. You are expecting to be treated like every other guest and to enjoy your stay as much as possible. Well, we are sorry for letting you know, but the hotels are usually having a different level of treatment for different guests. If you are not a VIP, or you don't have a membership card from that hotel, there is a possibility that you would be treated a little bit different than these people. Reason why? It's because these people are bringing more money to the business than you. Membership customers are always coming back, and the VIPs are usually leaving good tips to the hotel personnel. For them, you are just an ordinary customer. Yeah. We know. That doesn't sound great. But don't worry, that doesn't mean that you will not be treated with respect and provided with everything that you are paying for. People who are working in the hospitality industry are highly trained to provide you with high-level service, and they will not show you that you are not that valuable to their company. But if your room service is late, or you can't book your massage at the time that suits your schedule, just keep in mind these things. Sofas and chairs. It's always nice to have some other furniture in your room besides the bed and wardrobe. If you are staying for more than one night, it's good to have some space to sit and dine or to enjoy your favorite drink. The bad thing is that most of the time, housekeeping doesn't even clean them. Most hotels have a two to three hours gap between checkout and check-in time for the new guests. The question is, do you really think that they can take more than 20 minutes to make your room clean and tidy? The simple answer is most probably no. This is the reason why they usually skip sofas and chairs while cleaning. Especially if they are in the good condition, they will just look at it and then focus on the other stuff. If there is some stain or something similar, probably they will rub the stain with the cleaning chemicals until it's gone, but they will never clean and sanitize the whole thing. All of this maybe sounds completely okay to you, but did you ever ask yourself who sat there last night? Did that person wear clothes at all or how many bacteria are on that sofa or chair? Next time, when you want to have your drink while seating in your room, we recommend you place a towel over that chair. Do you need a blanket? Even though we do not use the blankets that much because every hotel is equipped with air conditioning these days, this is one of the things that hotel staff won't tell you. These blankets are usually just pressed which means that they are not properly washed for years. Next time when you are feeling cold, or if unfortunately, your AC in the room is not working properly, put some extra clothes on, rather than touching someone else's hair, or even something worse. Before we go on with our list, think about what was the weirdest thing that you found in the hotel room, and let us know what was that in the comments. Also, do not forget to click on that subscribe button, so that you can get more videos and more shocking stuff. Snooping. This is one of the most common things that housekeeping staff do, and we cannot blame them for that. The reason behind that is because people are crazy as hell. It is always recommended to keep your suitcases and trollers closed and locked when you are going out, but not because you need to be afraid that someone will steal from you. Do it to save their time and to save your privacy. There were even situations that some staff was checking guests' emails because people left their laptops open. This behavior is inappropriate, but as we said at the beginning, we can't blame the staff. Curiosity was always there and always will be. 
So once again, lock all your belongings when you are leaving your room. Would you like to have some ice? How many times did you ask room service to bring the ice? A lot, right? Remember that ice bucket in your room that they ask for. It's highly recommended to use that plastic bag provided with the ice bucket. It is there for a good reason. People often have a small party in their room. Regardless of the reason for the celebration, there is always someone who had too many drinks. Did you ever think about what is the first thing that they grab when they want to puke? Bingo! That plastic bag provided with the ice bucket is there to save you. Besides that, ice buckets, in general, are never cleaned properly. Most of the time, they just wiped the water drops and made it look clean. If you do not believe in that, why then housekeeping always leaves that plastic bag next to the bucket? Just accept the fact that people are gross sometimes. So, would you like to have some ice with your drink now? Wash machine in your room. Did you know that people sometimes use a kettle in their room for something else, rather than just bringing water to boil so that they can enjoy their tea or coffee? Yeah. We know. Sounds weird, right? Especially if you are traveling to poor countries, you need to be more vigilant. Different people have different levels of hygiene perspective. One of our team members had a disgusting experience while he was traveling abroad. He found a pair of socks floating in his kettle. Yes, we know. It's really intimidating and disgusting. Someone was trying to wash the socks in the kettle and after that, he forgot to remove them. We don't recommend using a kettle in your room, but if you really want to save that $5 on your coffee, please boil it at least twice and that should be okay. Boiling water kills all the bacteria so there will be no harm to you, but again after this story, we bet that half of you will never use the kettle again. Probably the housekeeping staff at the hotel in which our team member stayed saw that tea and coffee bags are not open, and that mugs and glasses that the previous guest didn't touch are clean, so they consider everything as clean and just focus on other things. They know everything about you. Besides your name and all the personal info that you provided them while you were checking in, the hotel staff knows a lot more about you than you think. In five stars hotels, they sometimes check their guests' social media accounts to have a better look at the things that people prefer. This is called a customized high standard experience. Even if you are not a VIP person, and you are coming to the hotel to have that business meeting with another person, or maybe lunch, the hotel staff will probably just give you a big smile. They know what's the difference between a fair and business is. These things you cannot hide from them, but don't worry, whatever happened in the hotel, most probably will stay in that hotel. Yours is just to be nice and polite to the staff. The more you are rude and unpleasant, there are more chances that they will spread the rumors about your affair between themselves. And after that, who else knows where? Keep in mind these things next time when you check in. We wish you a safe journey to the next destination. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.